Hey, thanks to everyone who sub, all 17 of you. Hopefully, it's going to be 20 soon. And I would like to say, I'm hopefully going to be getting a schedule where I'll upload every other day instead of like once every four days, or in this case, possibly once every five days. Thank you all for watching, and thank you all for subbing. You're keeping me going. Start small, we get bigger. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. I am also thinking about doing some modded Terraria. Let me know about that. All right. Let's watch the video now. Hello, my group of Universal Legends. And how are you doing today? Today's video is going to be over different shell types. So, let's see all of them. I've only had five set up. That is Frag, an explosive mix, a pure EMP shell, an anti-shield EMP shell, a kinetic shell, and an armor piercing shell. And we're going to try all of them with the mini guns we learned about a few days ago. So the first one is the frag Turning explosive. And as you can see, oh, please don't shoot the friends. As you can see, it is very, it's very potent, to say the least. And it's already killed the ship. How about we test something that has a bit more armor. Mm. I would do a, what was it called? I would do the bulwark, but that have sh has shields and I am not, I did not build the sh ships with anti-shield capability, so we're just going to have to bear with it like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think the Davy Jones would be a good target for this one. Now, the other one. And I don't want to have to repair this ship because I do not have time. Please, just just don't hit any of the other, like the turrets. You can hit the ammo and all that stuff. Just, okay, thank you. As long as it doesn't hit the turrets, I'm fine because I don't have time to sit here and wait for them to reload. But as you can see, the shell does, well as you could see for there, the shell does great damage against a lot of targets, well a single target. I don't know how it would do against a lot of targets, it should do well, but, well no shell does good against a lot of targets because shells are meant to hit a single target. Don't land on the explosives, don't, don't be an idiot, land on the explosives. Next type, the EMP shells, which are, as you, can, as you probably assume, best for ships made of metal, because it will just rip through them. It will. Well, it won't rip through them, more like metal conducts EMP a lot better than wood or basically any other block in the game. So, we're going to go over to our nice, nice friends at the Onyx Watch, and let's see if a bastion... Please tell me I pick something that's a metal ship and not okay. Making sure I picked something that was metal and not one of their relics of the past ships. This one is the EMP shots. And let's see. And the AI is dead already. Now as you can see, it didn't really pier I don't think it pierced a single block, but all that EMP went all through the metal and killed the AI which is somewhere in here. I think it's like up here, maybe. Well, in that tower that just died. Yeah, so it basically just, it just went straight through it. But if we try doing that against something like a bulwark, as I wait for it to load, spawn that in. Okay, turn off the AIs. As you can see, once it locks back onto it, these shelves aren't good for it. I mean, they can get in, they can do damage to the bulwark. Actually, these shelves seem to be doing great. I don't know where the shields are on the bulwark. Normally, this thing has an. Oh, this thing has a powerful shield. Matter of fact, I can't even see the shields. Unless they made them completely invisible. I don't think the bulwark has shields right now. Meaning that my test against it, where I was going to test out the shields, is not working. And as you can see, we're wasting a bit of shells, so 
with EMP shells, you might want to go ahead and set an internal fuse on them. That way when they bounce off like that, they still release the EMP. But that one's not going to do really any damage to the external part of the ship. But as you can see, hmm. oh, I forgot. It was aiming mostly for underneath the ship. It does that. But let's see how well this one does. There's a shield. And all the shells have to go at that one part where the shield actually is. But as you can see, this one's piercing through the metal a lot better than that one. But, if that one can hit, please let me see that that one can actually hit. Matter of fact, fleet move. Move it like that, get it turned. No, no. Just, just don't take out the other turret. Just don't take out the other turret. Matter of fact, let's just turn that off. Because I don't want that to get anywhere near it. So let's just despawn that. Pull all. Times 10. Hey. <laughs> Note to self, on the normal test bench, put some repair bots. So it can repair itself out of play. Okay, now this should work better. Let's see. Bulwark loads in. I accidentally paused the game. And disable all of it. Turn that back on. Uh, I was about to say it didn't make it wrong. As you can see. Oh wait, that's anti shield anti projectile munition warning system. Honestly, this one is the anti shield one. So um, actually I should probably look at the shelves so you can see what they are. So so far we have fired these middle three. This is the frag explosive. This is the anti shield one and this is the pure EMP one. This one you want if you're using EMP to block get rid of shields you put the disruptor conduit at the head because that sends it into the shield instead of into the ship. So that is this shell. And once again, time to, mm, no, I'm just gonna spawn on the other side this time. Spawn it on the west, a bulwark. And we're going to try out the solid shells, like the kinetic shells this time. Let's see. So four, I think four is the kinetic shell. Are you four or are you five? Well, we're gonna find out. Uh, okay. It had to hit the turret. Well, you get to see those spurts of fire before it dies. I don't have time to wait for this thing to reload again. So, um, well, <laughs> that gets rid of that test. <laughs> How about we just spawn in an enemy over here? Let's see. Let's spawn in on just watch ship here. Let's spawn in the bay leaf. Okay, so today, right now, we're about to find out. If the next shell we fire is going to be the kinetic or armor piercing. After I actually spawn in the enemy bay leaf. Yeah, that one's dead. That AI is dead. Bay leaf. Would you like to be our target practice? For today. Definitely the armor piercing. Or I believe the armor piercing has the blue. The blue shells. And as you can see, it's going straight through the bait leaf. Now, armor piercing. It's, it's, this is not a good demonstration for armor piercing since it's wood. So um, let's try a bit more of a heavily armored one. The Alcazar. Extremely thick armor. Let's see how this one does. I had to forget to turn off the AI on the bulwark. And now... I'm going to have to show the kinetic shell in a different video because we still don't have time to re-record.
Thanks, cool. Um, okay, I don't know if it pierced me. I think it pierced me and hit an ammo barrel. But as you can see, it's cutting through metal. Not as well as the laser, but um, I will say it's not firing smart, to say the least. As you can see, it is firing in the same area instead of like tilting yes, all up a fire. bit or it down a bit or anywhere else jump. that still has blocks. Hopefully. So, I have it. Yeah, that's really this fine. Point. I don't even have my hopes up too high End that the fork in is fully reloaded. It look like I know it's not fully reloaded, but lost two of the turrets. Three. As you can see, they, those three have fired already. Oh. I am wondering why they have stopped now. They might not.